last week on Fishing Adventure, we're out on the west coast and we've hooked a marlin. <laughs> 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 Although we get to experience a lot of different types of fishing here in New Zealand, it's not actually very often we get the time to head out targeting billfish. Fortunately, throughout the summer months, the marlin fishing is extremely accessible for most sized trailer boats, and New Zealand's largest city, Auckland, has a fantastic game fishery right on its back doorstep. Pu'ia is situated at the northwestern end of the Manukau Harbour and is around 30 minutes from the city centre. Once over the bar, marlin can be caught immediately, but the better blue water is further out past the 60 metre depth line, and during the summer months, there are stacks of bait fish out west. Yeah, mate, we're just heading out. We've got four POB for the day and fishing around the 70 metre mark for the day. Roger, could you call me when you're safely on the outside, please? Over. Roger that. Thank you, Al. On a scale of 1 to 10, Mick, how excited are you? Yeah, mate, she's a 10. Yeah, she's a 10. <laughs> excited as about today. Yeah, you know why that is? Marlin Day. Yeah. Yep. Game fishing. We don't get to do this very often. And uh, we are very excited because uh, it's a nice day, good weather window. So the plan is to head out wide and chase the marlin. But... That's the one. We've called Coast Guards. So they're all good to go there. So I think we'll hammer down over the South Channel and we'll be into it. Into it? Yeah. Hammer down. Let's go. Although conditions on this day were nigh on perfect and there was nothing much in the way of swell, this could be one very treacherous bar to cross. Always log a trip report with the Coast Guard and keep a close eye on the weather and tides. There are bar crossing courses available through Coast Guard and other boaties are usually more than happy to share their info and knowledge to help you have a safe day out. Safety first when it comes to fishing out here, as no fish is worth your life. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that might be a car wash. It's all right. Oh, look at this weather. So we're actually just gathering a bit of bait, is the plan here, live bait. Oh, I think I foul hooked him. That's why it's hard to get in. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I wonder he's so heavy. Good size livey though, pitch that to a marlin. Right, throw down the sabiki and hopefully this has got us a Jack Mac. Because the um, Jack Macs, as long as they're, you know, slightly bigger. Oh no, I think I've got a Kawai on now too. Oh no. Oh no, I still got my Mackie. Here we are. Oh, nice. A nice size one too. Yeah, boy. Woo. That's nice. a good size Mackie, that bottom one. Good, oh, good West Coast. Oh, he's bleeding. He's a good West Coast size. But that second one will still do too. I'm just treating him with wet hands. And that one's nicely just hooked in the lip. Make you just grab that net and just net this fish for me. It's, uh, it's coming up. Get him up on this go. Uh, strong bugger. It's a big one. Yep, coming around. Yes. All right, it's a nice. good size. He's a fatty. With the bait tanks looking healthy, it was now onto the marlin grounds. The main style of fishing for the day would be with lures, and the liveys were just there as a second option. Having a good selection of lures will up your chances of raising and hooking billfish, and always take the time to double check all your knots and make sure your hooks are nice and sharp. The majority of marlin caught out west are striped marlin, but occasionally blue and blacks are caught here. They turn up around December and usually hang around until late March, and some years they are abundant. I'm using this outrigger to spread these lures out a lot wider. It allows you to run more lures when you're fishing, stops them from tangling up, and also allows these lures to be run in the nice blue water. So these are ocean blue outriggers. They're handmade in New Zealand. Nice and simple, easy to use, tough bit of kit. Yeah, so the spread that we're running, We've got our two on our outriggers, so one outrigger each side, our two corners here, and then our one shotgun in the middle. And it's in a staggered formation. So we basically got one, two, three, four, and then five at the back is the shotgun. And they're nice and close to the boat. They're not, they're not way out the back. I mean, when we first started game fishing, 
we thought, well, when we first started trying to do game fishing, we thought the lures had to be miles out the back, but you're actually using this area here, these pressure waves, this prop wash, we've got our underwater lights on, and what that's going to do, that's going to bring these marlin up, they're going to come around, they're going to see all this activity, hopefully that turns them on enough to hit one of these lures and it'll be uh, action stations. It's phenomenal how much life is out here, but at the same time it can feel so barren. It's not uncommon to see sunfish, various species of sharks, and on this day, there are even a few dead porcupine fish floating on the surface. Pretty exciting, just spotted a uh, free jumping marlin twice, it'll be the same one. So he's free jumping, hopefully because he's excited and he's trying to eat bait. And our lures will run over the top of him, could be all on, Nick. Yeah, he can come and eat one of our lures. He can. Sounds good. I hope so. Massive work up. Massive work up to the right, boys. To the right. Yeah, right, yep. Straight oh, yeah, Ben, Ben. Straight ahead there. Yep, Ben, head down that way. Oh, yeah, they're going in. Mig's on the roof. He's just spotted a nice big work up out to our right. And uh, we're heading over there now because often where there's birds, they're a marlin. Heading there oh, now, Mig. Oh, yeah, they're going in hard. Oh, <laughs> me. Yeah, boy. Woo What's that? What's that? What's that? Something here, something here. He's on the, on the rigger, on the rigger. There he yes, is, there he yes. is. Woo! Popped it, popped it. Clear the gear, clear the gear. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Go for it. Go for it, lad. Get around on it, let go. Go, go, go. Here are some string, boy. Here he comes, here he comes, boys. It's West Coast action out from Auckland and the challenge is set to land a marlin. Manako turned the weather on and after grabbing a few baits from just over the bar, we headed out wide in search of billfish. Meg spotted a big workup from the roof of the boat and immediately after driving past it, we've hooked up. What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah, we're on, we're on. Something here, something here. Marlin! 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 He's on the, on the rigger, on the rigger. There he yeah, is, there he yeah. is. Woo! Popped it, popped it. Clear the gear, clear the gear. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, go, for it. go for it, lad. Yeah, get that one. Up. Oh, he's a big one, boys. Oh, he's going hard. Woo! Nice to get the line back on him. Get around there, let's go! Go, go, go! Yeah, straight, straight, straight now, straight now. All right, yeah. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah. Holy crap! Am I out? Yeah, yeah mate. Yeah. The solid hookup by the look, boys, he was fired up. Yeah. Woo! We're tight! We're tight yeah. on the moment! <laughs> boys! Yeah, boy! That workup turned it on. Good Saw a few gannets going in, sure enough. Oh, oh my goodness, it for look about at two minutes and away we went. Look at this. The braid's been smoking off the reel. And of course, once again, it goes for the old trusty SLX. <laughs> That's what game fishing is all about, man. Haven't even, I mean, you don't get ahead of yourselves because this is the marlin, so anything's possible, but man, that's so exciting. <laughs> Unbelievable. He was going hard out out the back. Hang on, Ben, a uh, bit of left hand down, I think. And forward. Yeah, keep, keep moving, I Keep moving, left hand down, forward. He's likely to jump. He's coming this way. It's not a lot of weight there, eh? Still there, though, I think. Can't just be the belly, can it? No, we're slack, boys. Let's go. No, nah, man. Hang on. Hang on, hang no, on, hang on. There he is, he's there. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, he's there. He's there, he's there. Oh, he's going, here he goes, there he goes. You Peel some string, boy. <laughs> Hope he doesn't go deep. He's not deep yet, so just digging in there. Yeah. 
There, once again, the Akuma SLX X Factor. <laughs> Marlin Slayer. Yep. This is our second ever Marlin only, though. Wow. No, 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 it's not necessarily true. Haven't landed it yet. You can't get ahead of yourself there, Scotty. But uh, yep. we've hooked, what, four Marlin? Yep. Landed one. This will be number five in the hooked department. It's not bad for the first trip of the season. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Albeit a little bit late in the season, we're out here. Not even that far out off the bar, to be fair. We've heard their reports so that they're in quite close, so it allows us to get out here without even having to travel out much past the uh, 70 metre line, which is pretty cool. Marlin fishing doesn't have to be expensive, nor time consuming. We've been out here for probably two and a half hours. I think we've gone through, we do half an hour turns on the whoever's turn it to take the rod. So I've had two and Mick's had two, and this is my, it's only my second one, so yeah, two hours. And um, straight out off the Manukau with a $500 combo, if that. Pretty bloody cool. And the old Black Magic equaliser harness again. <laughs> Doing what it does best, making this uh, fairly hard fighting marlin easy enough work. When I say easy, I mean achievable work. Without a harness, you'd be pretty, you'd be pretty headed about now, even with only a 50 wide. Uh, a little bit more right hand down there, Mick. Right hand down? Yeah. Just to get him back out the side here. All oh, right. Yeah. Communication between, uh, we see the angler and the driver, or the helmsman, is important because. Uh, the helmsman can usually see, like Mick can see, he's at the helm at the moment, Ben's at the helm sometimes as well. And you can see where the line angle is and it's important to know where that is because that fish, if it ends up under the boat or end up near the front of the boat, you need to be able to adjust, get a bit more side onto it. And fighting it back in this starboard corner seems to be the, uh, the easiest for everyone. There are a few key components for a successful day's game fishing. One of those is your lures, your spread and which ones you're going to select for that particular day. So what's helpful with that is having a nice streamlined system. So we've got the bag here so we can see each lure. We've got them labelled along the top so you can see where they need to go and everyone on the boat who's setting up lures knows where that needs to be. All of these black magic lures, they're ready to troll straight off the shelf. They've got all the good hardware, solid hooks, proper crimps, rigged up so you can clip that on, chuck it straight out the back, start fishing and at the end of the day, simply roll it back on again back in the bag and good to go for next time. A day's game fishing can be chaos, so having everything nice and organised means you have a better shot at catching that next big trophy fish. Here he comes, here he comes, boys. Hold on it, hold on it, holy crap. That's what happens when you play games on the west coast with the old Marcos. It's west coast action now from Auckland and the challenge is set for us to land a marlin. After a bit of a late start due to classic Auckland traffic, we finally got our lures in the water and spotted a good sized work up around the 70 metre depth line. We've now hooked a good sized striped marlin which put on quite the aerial display. We're in the final stages of the fight and hoping we can land our challenge fish. It's definitely coming up boys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. is he going to surface? Oh, I can see him, I can see him back there. Yeah. Is he tail wrapped or is he all right? Ah, <laughs> uh, right hand down. Here he comes, here he comes. Right hand down, right hand down. Right hand down. Bit of gas. That's it there. Here he comes, here he comes, boys. Coming up backwards, is he? Yeah, he is too. Is he? Yeah. Ah, bugger, we've tail wrapped him. So he's a big fish. Woo wee! He is a big fish. What a bugger, he's tail wrapped. We're hoping to let this fish go. But the chances of him surviving now is probably low because of the fact that he's been tail wrapped, he's been dragged backwards. Bend right hand down. Unfortunately, with, um, with these big fish, they can obviously, when they go on a big run, their tail, obviously he wasn't tail wrapped initially, but one of his big runs. I mean, he's still alive now. So what we might do is we might get him boat side and see if he's gonna have the ability to swim away, so. It's a shame he's, yeah, it's a shame he's, uh, a shame he's hey mate, it's still a marlin, and oh, that might be the tail wrap gone. No, no, he's still nah. oh, it's sliding up his body a bit there. Ben, right hand down, right hand down. Right hand down, yep. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna untail wrap himself oh, now. he is too. Hopefully the hook stays in. We're in, we're in, we're in, leader. Where's your gloves? Oh, you got him. Go, Mickey, go. Go, me, go, 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 go. Keep him up, keep him up so he doesn't sink. Oh, yeah, here he is. Bring him alongside, Miggy. How's he looking? Pretty beat? Pretty How's beat, that hook bottom of the jaw? Oh, he's a nice fish. Grab that, Bill. Got you, matey. We got him! Yes! Whoa, yeah, yeah on, brother. Everyone. Shot, Benjamin. Yes. Just got to hold him here with his mouth in the water. Just hopefully 
He hasn't been tail wrapped for too long. We might be able to get a bit of life back in him. Well, that's game fishing, 10% of the time. Maybe 5% yeah. of the time. <laughs> Built for speed, power, aggression. And this guy was aggro as when he came up in the spree. When a fish is tail wrapped and dragged backwards, it effectively drowns. We tried for a good 30 minutes to give this marlin the best chance of survival, but every time we thought it was going to swim away, it just keeled over. So because of the tail wrap situation, um, yeah, the signs of life are pretty, pretty low on this fish, and there's no point letting him go just to die and sink to the bottom and get pecked away by crabs and sharks. So uh, we'll definitely take him because he'll be well utilised. A lot of good meat on a the marlin. They make fantastic eating. So uh, we're going to drag him on board and have a good look at him. And yeah, one in the boot. But yeah, we would have liked to have released him. That was definitely the plan. That's why we didn't sink the gaff or anything like that. But yeah, this is the situation where you did us best to bring one home and uh, some uh, fantastic kaimoana. Oh, yeah. Just watch that bill as he comes in, lads. Yep. Oh, oh Marley on the set. <laughs> well, yeah, boys. <laughs> that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, Man. Right. Oh, well, so there we have it. We have uh, Holy Ship version two's first ever Mission, chasing game fish. Not long had this boat, and uh, look at what she provided. 30s in the Honda raised fish. the fish. Black Magic Lure hooked the fish, and the Akuma, rod and reel combo, dealt to him bringing him in beautifully. That's awesome. Never seen one of those before. Little cleaner fish, or whatever they're called. They suck onto the fish and clean off all of the scales and the lice and the parasites. Right, we'll get him back so in get the him drink. Back. Hopefully he can he's... go find another marlin. He's all good. Oh, he sucked onto my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Off he goes. Might not last too long out there in the deep blue, but... Well, he's lasted on the on this marlin for a while, so hopefully he finds another mate and then... Yeah. He'll be all good. He will be, but that is a uh, striped marlin. West Coast. Yeah. Yeah, mate. And you know what that also means, my friend? No consequence. No consequence. Not this week. No. We got the challenge fish. Oh, well, let's get this guy covered in some wet towels and take him back and get him processed. after we hooked that marlin. We're just setting back up again to head back in to get it weighed. And we just thought we'd chuck the lures out. I'm just changing my shirt. Maybe we're setting up the outrigger on the other side. This one wasn't even in the, in the right spot. Big striper came up behind it and just smoked it. Holy hell. He hit it too. Yeah, he hit it. Wow, that was a bit of a bugger up. So, unfortunately, I've just thrown that lure in the water. Literally, only been in there for maybe not even 30 seconds. And I'd clipped it in, and because the clip wasn't at the top of the outrigger, it's meant that the line has come out of the outrigger clip, wrapped around the tip of the rod, and then that's when the, lure, that's when the marlin hit. So, what that meant is that the line snapped at the tip of the rod, and, yeah, it was just a bit of a bugger up. We weren't expecting to get a fish, so lesson learned. Always expect to to have a fish in the gear at any stage. So with the consequence successfully avoided, we headed for home, but stopped off for a quick bottom fish in 40 metres while we waited for the Waymaster to meet us at the ramp. Not what we want to do. Oh, Lining up on the gear. That's our guns. Hang on. Hang. Lift him in. There we go. <laughs> Choice. Yeah, not a bit of sizey. <laughs> oh, He's all good, so he won't be put, he won't be back in the drink. He'll be in the bin. Choice. Dropped it. I just did, <laughs> I just dropped it right. Oh, f big shark! 
Oh, Big old Marco. smoked it. Oh, he got me goons. He got you goons. He got me goons and me sinker. <laughs> oh, no he way. He took me goons and me sinks. That's what happens when you play games on the West Coast with the old Marcos. They take your goons and your sinks. Oh, hang on. Goons, goons, and oh, it's a nice goons. Oh, yeah. Bang, whoop him in. Can't turn down a gurnet of that size. Yeah. So we're just getting back to the ramp now, and uh, obviously we could get this marlin weight to get an idea of what, it, uh, what weight it might be. Well, not too bad, Mick. We cracked the hundy, mate, 101. Yeah, stoked, eh? It's good to get one out west, man. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely, especially considering we only ended up with an afternoon to uh, to do it all in. And, uh, yeah, yeah. it was an action-packed afternoon, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, yep, yeah, so that's it from us. We uh, obviously got the challenge fish, so no consequence, and uh, catch you guys next week.